There we go. All right. Back again. Back again live today. Four different platforms to show. Hello, oh, quit moving. New product, as promised. This is the new Mormon Gecko. It's live, available in the store. Head over to windowcleaner.com. You can slur search Gecko. G-E-K-K-O. see it right there. Gecko. All right, I'm gonna hop to the other side of the table and show you what's up. All right. So the gecko, you get the pad holder. It is this complete pivoting. You can see the action that you get on this on the table. Uh, this is basically the Mormon 2.0 handle. It'll work on all Mormon pole tips and a variety of other tips. The Unger tip works well with this too. Full pivoting. Awesome range of motion with this in your hand or on a pole. One of the number one questions is gonna be, what does it fit in? These tool holders from Mormon fit the best. Get the dry walker. Lefty or righty, it'll fit in this compartment. No problem, completely out of the way of the squeegee handle. Put your pad outward or your pad facing inward, no problem. In the back of the Mormon dry walker, you can fit your squeegee either way no problem so mormon dry walker number one and the tool holder 2.0 also fits really really well in here it does get in the way of the uh, squeegee handle a little bit you have to kind of you know maneuver this in the back here just slightly out of the way but it does fit it does hold it no problem uh, Mormon definitely has some forethought in these because they have combination tools, you know, they like the flick pad, the uh, accelerator complete. So they have a larger opening in here. This will also fit in the Samurai if you take out the partition as well. But fit nicely in here with your squeegee one or two. It's a loud day in here. So you can buy the handle on its own and as you can see there's three different pads three different pads with this you get a tight knit microfiber this is a lot like the Unger cleaning pad some they call it a polishing pad This is definitely something that you would do like detail work with. Put a little bit of spray away on there, a tiny bit of solution and go squeegee-less. Out of the way windows, high up stuff on a pole. That's where I would use a pad like this. There's the Fugu pad. Fugu is just like the Fugu sleeve or the Fugu flick pad. You can kind of see here if you look real close, if your connection is good you will see the little plastic spines in here. This is gonna be like your kind of run of the mill. I'm using this in place of a T-bar and scrubber. I'm gonna use this, because it's gonna hold a good amount of water. It's a thick pad and it's super aggressive. Those plastic spines in there will uh, scratch glass, not glass, excuse me, tint. So be careful, this is something you really wanna use uh, outside only. How is the end pressure on the gecko? Pretty good. Um, you can kind of see, you, it, it's really, because it's not too large, you're gonna get pressure on this all around, no problem. You can see there's, oh, I'm shaking everything. You know, you can see the little give of the pad in there. Uh, so you will have good pressure. This is, say 14 inches end to end. Let me measure it to be uh, super certain, not give you any false info. Hang tight. All right, so the widest part of the pad is 
What do we got? 12 and a half. 13 inches, roughly. At the bottom, you're at nine inches. And last but not least, you have a steel wool sleeve on here. Obviously, this is going to be, you know, a disposable sleeve. You'll get your day's work out of it. Stain removal, nasty exterior job. But once you use it, chuck it. Don't try to save steel wool. It's just going to rust and cause you problems. So use it, toss it. <clears throat> uh, let me show you how to put these on. Nice Velcro backing. They're all the same, all three of them. You have your, your uh, kind of top seam here. These corners are sewn, so what you're gonna wanna do is put the top in first, get the top corners in there, and then you're going to fold the bottom over like that. Really snug, you're not getting really any movement in this side to side or up and down. They're all the same. Top is sewn, so you want to put the top in first and then fold the bottom up and Velcro it down. <clears throat> is it mainly for storefront or residential? Um, well, I mean, a normal sleeve isn't gonna clean the tracks on residential anyway. So you could use this for either. Personally, for storefront, I don't think any of these are gonna hold enough water to be comfortably sufficient. So I would think it is more of a uh, residential tool, personally. But good range of motion, good tool for use by hand or with a pole. Uh, Tuck in each handle, you get a little baggy, some extra hardware, and a uh, little Allen wrench there. But as you see, it fits in the tool holder 2.0 from Mormon. Also get your squeegee in there. And uh, it actually fits best in the dry walker. It doesn't get in the way of the squeegee handle whatsoever in the dry walker. They're not really bumping into each other. You can grab one or the other pretty easily. All right, I hope that was a nice little highlight of the new product. It's available right now. Shipping today on the shelf. It's the new Mormon Gecko. Three different options. Blue microfiber, steel wool, and the fugu. So check it out and uh, hit up your reps if you got any questions.